In this short tutorial, I want to show everyone uh, the different options on the Google Spreadsheets menu and toolbar. When you're within Google Spreadsheets, uh, you have two different bars that have a, sets of, a few different sets of options. The first one is known as the menu bar. You have all your different menus that show up here with all the different options listed here, and they may be different in the future as Google Spreadsheets is always improving and always adding options. Uh, the bar we're actually most interested in today is the toolbar here. This has all the different buttons uh, that you can see here, and I want to go through these very quickly and show off the most common ones and popular ones. Uh, starting from the left here, we have our print button, very self-explanatory. You can click on that and you can bring up the print dialog very quickly. Uh, this button right here is the undo button. Uh, you can use the key shortcut control Z to go ahead and use that as well, very similar to Excel or the redo button, which is pretty self-explanatory um, as well. This button right here, this is the web clipboard. This uh, feature needs a little more explanation, but in uh, in short terms, this is a virtual clipboard you can use to copy data across uh, different products in the Google Docs uh, suite. So for example, if you're copying something from here, you can make a copy of it and use the web clipboard and paste it into a Google Doc or vice versa. And you can do the same uh, mixing in Google presentations. Very ne a very neat feature. This button right here is the Paint Format tool, and this tool is used to go ahead and copy formatting that may be selected on one particular cell or across multiple cells. So you can copy a formatting style you have onto different cells within your spreadsheet, and those cells don't have to be adjacent. This right here goes ahead and you can format cells if you have numbers in them, for example, uh, or if you have uh, different sets of numbers. As you can see here, one is formatted as a percentage. If I went ahead and selected them, I could change them all to be uh, in currency. I can move them over to be a percentage, so you can very easily work with sets of numbers. And this button right here allows you to use all kinds of different formats, as you can see uh, from the menu. Here's our simple si uh, font size option. You can choose from all the different sizes of fonts within the program. Our bolding, strike through. Here's our text color button. You can also change the background color of your cells. So for example, if I wanted a nice bright green, I could do that. This option gives us borders. So if you selected multiple different cells, you can go ahead and choose that and add borders to those cells. Our alignment option here, if I selected these cells and chose my alignment, I could left align it. I could also right align it or center it if I like to. This button to the right is grayed out right now, but it is the merge button. If I selected two cells that were next to each other, I could go ahead and use that to merge them into one large cell. This is the wrap text button. If I had more text in a single sentence in one cell that can fit, uh, in the viewable area, wrap text would go ahead and adjust the size of the cell's height so it would go ahead and show all of my text instead of hiding it after it got to a certain point. And this is a simple formula button where you can go ahead and choose from some of the most common uh, formulas available within Google Spreadsheets. Uh, the most common ones are shown here, sum, average, count, max, and min, uh, but of course more functions allows you access to all the other functions that are here. Uh, the insert chart button, pretty self-explanatory. If you have a set of data that you want to go ahead and create a chart from, you can use this to insert a very quick chart. Uh, and the last option that is available, it's called filter, and this is for also when you're working with large sets of data, you can go ahead and um, use the filter button across your header rows to go ahead and make selections in terms of what kind of um, data you would like to see in your particular view of the spreadsheet if you just had way too much to work with. Um, so that is a nifty feature if you're someone that's doing a lot of number crunching or analyzing large uh, sets of data. Hope you found this uh, video tutorial on the Google Spreadsheets toolbar informative and I want to thank you for joining me.